Hello all and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to migrate your Raspberry Pi OS, Home Assistant in my case, from the SD card to a bootable SSD and I'm going to show you how to do it in under 3 minutes. Let's get started. Firstly, let's talk about why you might want to do this. The biggest reason is simply that SD cards wear out over time and as they wear they begin to fail. Usually not all at once, and what this can mean is that your SD card gradually begins corrupting data or producing confusing errors that lead you on a goose chase of troubleshooting. Also, even though the SSD is being ran through USB 3.0, it should be a bit faster than the read-write speeds of the SD card. For this, you will need some fashion of USB SSD. I had an old 120GB SSD lying around, so I just ordered a cheap USB 3.0 enclosure to put it in, which should work just fine. Also, while you don't see me doing it here, I also recommend springing for an externally powered USB hub to power your drive, instead of relying on the Raspberry Pi to power it. Note that for my purposes, I will be using a Raspberry Pi 4 for this, but if you're using an older model, you may need to enable USB booting, but that won't be covered here. The first thing I'll do is take a full backup of my Home Assistant instance and then download that backup to my PC. Then I'll plug in my new external SSD into my Windows machine to image it. I originally used Raspberry Pi's official imaging program but found that my Raspberry Pi wouldn't boot from the drive in that case. Turns out I needed to update the EEPROM on my Pi. To do this, I used a different SD card and imaged it using the USB boot image found within the Raspberry Pi imaging software. With it imaged, I installed it in my Pi and powered it on. You will know the update was a success when you see a blinking light on the Pi and that it's showing a solid green screen via HDMI. With that done, I then tried to boot from USB again, but weirdly it still failed. Confused, I re-imaged the external SSD this time using Etcher, and then it booted just fine. After giving Home Assistant time to initialize, I then uploaded my snapshot, waited a bit longer, and then I was back up and running like nothing had ever happened. This time, however, running off an SSD. Hopefully this helped you. Thanks for watching.